everyone, welcome to another video brought to you by RugDoc. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the farms here on our RugDoc website. Now, this is just a purely for fun video. None of this is financial advice. I am not affiliated with any of the farms I'm going to talk about, nor have they sponsored us or given us any money. So this is just a random look. I'm going to take a random look at some of these farms here. Now the first farm I'll take a look at is Polly Monkey. So apparently Polly Monkey is a goose fork with a max 4% deposit fees. Um, the Master Chef is currently not behind a time lock though, so keep that in mind. Let's take a look at their website, and it's just a monkey. It, <laughs> it definitely looks like a pancake swap fork, and they have $259 in there. Hmm, I wonder who's staking into this pool. Maybe it's the owners or developers themselves. And the idea definitely is not original. I mean, not even the interface, but I've seen monkeys before. Where have I seen monkeys? Wait a minute. Who are you? Oh yeah, this little farm called Ape Swap, which has monkeys and bananas, just like Polly Monkey. So yeah, not very original either. And... <laughs> And just take a look at their native token. It's called Banana. Um, I mean, you can't really get more unoriginal than that. So, <laughs> I'm gonna have to give Polly Monkey a zero for originality. Nice try there. Okay, let's take a look at this next one called Sword Finance Layer 2. Max 5% deposit fees, also not behind a time lock, and some other nifty features here. Okay, let's take a look at the website. Okay, apparently they're using our badge reviewed by Rugdoc, which is nice, but they're also using this... <laughs> I'm not even gonna go there. All right, taking a look at Sword Finance, they've got a moon theme. Who would have known moon theme? It's pretty interesting. Um, they have $846 locked in their vault here, which is uh, pretty, uh, it's, it's a bit higher than the last one we saw. However, it's not so much either. Important features they noted, they have migrated code removed. Congratulations. Ownership transferred and time locked. Will do after launch. Okay, so yeah, they have not done that yet. Um, we can look at their announcements. Sword Finance Layer 2 has launched. Have they have they set their ownership behind a time lock? Um, I'm not sure. I don't see it here. And I don't see an announcement. If they have, they should make that very apparent and update their website. Apparently, this is Layer 2 of the Sword Layer, and they had a Sword Layer 1. I don't really see why this farm is called Sword Finance, because the only sword I see really is here. And their token is called shield. But hey, I'm not a developer, so what do I know about farms? If you actually look at their layer one, they have their token here called sword. Okay, that makes sense. And they have $16,000 still locked in here. Let's take a look at some of their farms. For those of you that don't know what layered farming is, basically there are different layers. You can add on an infinite amount of layers. Let's say here's the first layer of sword finance. Whenever you stake into these farms, you can earn right here. It says sword. This is their native token sword, right? And then when you earn sword, you can go into the layer two farm and then use the sword tokens that you earn and also stake in the layer two farms, earning you their next reward. For example, here you have sword and USDT and you can earn shield. If you go to their pool, I'm sure there's a sword. Yeah, there's a sword pool right here, which you can stake by itself and earn the shield token. Now, developers do this because they want to add utility to their token, which otherwise people would just sell on the market. Now, it, with the layer 2, people can actually save their sword and earn some shield. Of course, they have strikingly high APR with this BUSD pool earning over 1 million percent APR. Now that's quite a lot, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to stay there for so long. Okay, that was Sword Finance Layer 2. Let's go take a look at this pirate farm, which is a high-risk farm. <laughs> now, it's a panther fork, but it doesn't have the referrals, and it's almost identical to Pirate Ghost. Now, this farm does not have a hard rug code found. However, the farm is high-risk for the following reason. Another red flag is that the token has no mint function. That means the Master Chef will not be able to generate any rewards, and withdrawals and harvests will fail when the farm begins. Now that sounds like a pretty bad sign because whenever I farm, I definitely want some rewards. So let's take a look at this website right here. Okay, taking a look at Pirate Farm, it looks pretty basic. There's really nothing on there besides this little token that kind of stands out right there. So yeah, pretty bland and total value lock, zero dollars. Really cool. Now I notice on the left side, it says that they are audited by Rugdoc. First of all, we don't do audits we only do reviews so yeah um if you could take that down pirate DeFi, if you're watching this that'd be pretty nice thank you very much and also they have our favorite auditing company tech rates you guys know how much we love tech rates and how good it is <laughs> by the way that was a joke i 
but yeah, stay away from tech rate. <laughs> now, if we take a look at some of their farms right here, we have the PFT farm, which I'm not sure what that stands for, but maybe pirate farm token. And they have some pools which feature some of your common tokens. Now, you can't really see the deposit fees or the APRs. You might be able to see it if you unlock your wallet, but I'm not going to connect to this website. Sorry, guys. You're going to have to do that yourself if you want some more info. So, yeah, apparently they did start their fair launch already. Um, and that's pretty much all I see right here on their announcements. Fair launch token, fair launch token, fair launch token, and already started token. Nice. So, yeah, that pretty much sums up what I think about Pirate Farm. Okay, let's go down a little bit more. What the heck? Scream? Um, that sounds like a horror movie if I remember correctly. So apparently this is a project like Ave, which is a decentralized lending protocol. All right, let's take a look at this farm. We label it as not eligible because this farm is pretty much very complex. It's like trying to review Ave, which is a super difficult to review platform. So let's take a look at Scream. Okay, yeah, that's definitely reminding me of the, the horror movie right there. And it's got this cream finance look to it as well. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. I'm not really a big fan of this platform uh, interface right here. It's kind of trippy right here, and it doesn't look too professional, but uh, kind of reminds me of a baby colors right here, like the cream finance, and let's take a look at the app right here. All right, interesting. I like the cheer on here, as well as events and scream merch. Isn't that awesome? Let's take a look at the lending platform here. Okay, apparently the total supply is 31 million and total borrowed is 19 million. Not bad for this platform. If you supply the FUSDT token, I'm not sure exactly what that is, but you can get 25.26% and you can borrow it at 43%. That's quite high. There's also Bitcoin, which you can supply at 11.64% and borrow at 23%. So yeah, they have similar tokens like Aave. And also down here, they have their little About Us section. Scream was established in 2021 by a team of passionate engineers spread across the globe to empower financial freedom. Uh, that's pretty generic. I'm still not sure exactly what the team is about. Let's take a look at their documentation here. Scream she. Okay, great. Okay, Scream is a lending protocol built on Phantom. So it is Phantom based and then they do have inspiration from Compound Finance, Aave, and Cream Finance. They do have a nice disclaimer section which does state some risks of DeFi which is amazing because there is definitely a lot of risk in DeFi. You should do your own research before aping into any project. So yeah, there are definitely resources here. I'm not gonna go through all this. If you're interested in that, definitely take a look at their documentation. Now there is staking as well, where you can stake your tokens. You can stake some Scream for that nice 0% APY. It's probably a lot more than that, but it's not loading right now. If you connect your wallet, you might be able to see this, but again, I'm not connecting mine. So going back, you can definitely take a look at some events. Let's take a look at the events right here. Apparently it's a 404, nice event. I must have missed it. And then we have some Scream merch. Let's take a look at that Scream merch. And it's coming soon. Okay, so stay subscribed if you want some Scream merch. All right, guys, I might take a look at one more farm here. Which one should I take a look at? Let's take a look at 0x Ninja. I like the name of that. So apparently it's a goose fork and it's highly likely to be the same team behind Polygator and Sushi Farm. So this is the same wallet that's also connected to Hamster Farm, Game Boy, and Astro Bunny, which all rugged in the same way by swapping contracts. And all MC contracts are alike, if not the same. So yeah, I definitely stay away from this 0x Ninja Farm. Let's take a look at it anyway. And it's suspended. So yeah, guys, that basically wraps up this quick look at some of the farms on our website here. As always, guys, none of this is financial advice. Definitely read and do your own research on any farm before going into these farms. Now remember guys, this was just a fun, purely educational video and I do not endorse or am sponsored by any of these farms that I just mentioned. As always guys, you're free to take a look at our Telegram channel, definitely join and ask any questions you guys might have and stay safe in the DeFi world and have an amazing day.